Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Ben here again. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing today is a uh, in-the-bag review for the 2012-2013 season. Basically, um, I got my new gloves today so I can finally do it. And uh, this is what I'll pretty much be using for my season with the Bandits. So, let's get started. Uh, starting from the toes, I got my... Bauer 180s, um, really awesome. Uh, I love the Vertex cowing on them that are not on the 160s um, due to price reasons, but uh, I've had these for a year and a half now, and uh, they're amazing. Got to sharpen my blade a bit; it's getting a little dull, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I expected puck marks and scratches, but um, overall, amazing and. Um, the inside, super comfortable, and, and compared to Reebok, they're a lot better, I personally think. So, um, next in the line, um, got my practice jerseys, ignore that, but uh, got my practice jersey, my team practice jersey, red colors, obviously, for the bandits, and a few others in the back over there, but that doesn't matter. Now, to the real stuff... I got a Vaughn V5 7900, I believe. Uh, amazing chest protector. I honestly have to say it's one of the best I've ever had. The one I had before this was the Bauer 180 chest protector. And the one main difference is on the 180. In the back over here, there would be a little pointy tip like that. Um, no references to stuff, but... Uh, yeah, on this one it's a flat, so when I go down the butterfly or when I hunch back a bit, you know, to do the butterfly or just to get my position, I don't have that little hump going into my neck, so it's really nice. And then the only gear that I haven't switched out in the uh, in the three years that I've been playing are these uh, Vaughn Velocity 7450 uh, gold pants. These are amazing. I ca I can't complain at all. I've never taken a stinger or anything, and it's just awesome, you know, to have something last so long for, like, I mean, it's, it's not pro or anything, but it's just a really good pad. And then, uh, 7400, Chuck, nothing important there. Everyone's got one, hopefully. Uh, next thing on the list right here, uh, me and Kishon have the same helmet, Bauer Enemy 7. Fit three with the uh, red chest or er, red throat protector for my team. Pimping out out there. Uh, next thing I got right here are these um, Von Velocity V3s 7500 Pro Spec Customs. Um, the way you can tell they're custom is on most Vons this part right here is white with the uh, silver outline, but on this it's black. So I actually made that. Customized these myself and also my old team who were LA King Stellars uh, colors, my bad. But yeah, um, have have had those the whole time I've been playing these three years and they've been amazing. So my oldest gloves are these Vaughn Velocity 7600 V4s with uh, custom pink tape on to show my respects to the woman out there. Who fight breast cancer? Uh, it closes like crap now. Um, like that—that's as far as it'll go, right there. It, it can't really like legit catch anything. It's more of a just you know showing net presence, having something really big out there to uh, make them go blocker side or below. So that's the first glove I had. Next up is a uh, Vaughn Epic 880 Pro Spec. Goalie blocker with pink tape again to show my respects. Uh, I loved this blocker for the whole time I had it. Um, yeah, Epic 880 Pro Spec. The palm on this guy is pretty worn out, not going to lie. I'm thinking about replacing it because uh, I use this one to coach uh, little kids out there um, every Saturday. And um, I usually I use uh, this one. Or, in this case, uh, to break in those. But, um, yeah, I, I'm thinking about putting a new palm, getting that repaired. Uh, and then, 
one year and a half later, um, got new gloves again for a blue team. So I got the Bauer 180 Supreme goalie catcher. This thing closes a little better, not full closure as you can see, but I mean it's it's still good. Um, double pocket in the back right there. Um, it was blue because my team was blue, but um, while I was waiting for my custom P4s, um, I had to get this, so I just put some red duct tape, and uh, it looks like crap, to be honest. So, that's the Bauer 180, uh, two-piece, obviously, the one-piece wasn't out at the time, and, um, my... I got this blocker like uh, one month after my glove, which was kind of stupid because uh, I should have gotten it at the same time. But it's a Vaughn 70 uh, 480. Uh, let me check that. Yeah, 7480. Um, it's actually black, blue, blue. But to pay my respects, again, put the pink on there. Um, and I actually do really love this blocker. It's. Um, really fit well to my hand. Um, uh, when I tried on this Reebok glove right here, uh, the, the biggest thing that I noticed was that the um, it's not as loose as a palm as uh, Vaughn. Reebok likes to have it really tight so that you can grip the blocker, or I mean the stick, but yeah. Uh, also on the edge, like on all glo or blockers, there's that little um, edged part it's a little bulked up and the finger protection on this guy is pretty incredible actually I've never actually gotten hurt but when you compare I'll show you guys the difference between the sideboards on the Reebok and the Vaughn you'll see that there is a difference so going on to the blocker um, I think I made a mistake in the past saying that these were custom my bad uh, I actually just got the 14k and the 18k glove and uh, basically the main difference that you'll see is that when you compare the Vaughn there's a lot of contours on the side and you know it not everything is straight and flat which caused problems for me because when I get hit here on this edge pucks would go sometimes in but most of the time they'd go anywhere that was really unpredictable for me and uh, I haven't tried these yet, but I'm assuming that when a puck will hit me right here, it'll have a straight direction, and I'll know exactly where it goes every single time. Uh, this I just got today, to be honest. Um, don't have to put duct tape on these, because, well, I mean, it's October 30th, to be honest, so there's no real need for me to put on the pink tape, maybe next year. But, uh, as you can see, the palm on this guy, it's, it's a little longer. I feel like, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a lot tighter, but also on the, um, right here on the, on the thumb part, that it's a lot more bulked up, and so, when you get hit right there, you know, it's, it'll be there to protect you. Um, screen printed graphics, but, um, stitched on as well. Uh, basically... I haven't tried this glove yet, but I can tell you that I'm expecting really good things out of it because a lot of people re recommended I do the combo of the 14 and 18 to spend a little less money, saying that basically the 14 was um, pretty much the same as the 18, so I'll take their word on that, and uh, that's the P4 uh, 14K. And going on into the 18K glove. Uh, I've been so excited to see these since the pros started wearing them. It's a one-piece cuff. That's why I didn't get the 14K. Um, on Goalie Monkey, they had the two-piece for this model. And uh, I personally didn't want another two-piece like the Bauer. But, I mean, if I had to, I would have. Uh, I just love the P4 design so much. Uh, this one, honestly, has the best closure. I mean, when you close it like that, there is no way a puck is going to slide out. And it closes like a dream. Everyone says that, and I agree with them. Um, compared to the 14K, the emblems are all stitched on, which uh, is very good for me. I prefer to have things stitched on, but, I mean, I don't care, honestly. But it's just 
a preference kind of thing. Um, also, when you put it on the ground, I tested this in my room. When you try to cover it up, it'll be very... You, you can see the puck easily, I'll say that. Um, I know I'm not really going in depth for all my gloves or pads, but you guys can expect reviews to be up um, pretty soon, in fact. So, stay tuned, you guys. Um, after my practice tonight, I'll probably put in some input on what I think about the two new gloves and uh, my past experiences with the others. But um, until then, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. And we greatly appreciate it here at Goalies United. Thanks, guys.